Welcome everybody to 48 to Talk episode number 26. Am I saying it correctly? I am your host, Race Baldi, as always. Joining me this time is DX the Command on the right, Derek on the and for the first time joining us is Mr. Josh Box. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hey, hello, Josh. Hello. Welcome, welcome to the podcast. This is going to be interesting. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. First up, before we start anything, always these two questions. Um, how do you get into AKB48, and who's your Oshi, Mr. Josh Box? Well, I started with anime, as I imagine everyone does. And yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> once, once I started getting more into anime, I wanted to be like, okay, I'll go full weave and learn Japanese. Uh -huh. So once I started learning a little bit Japanese, I decided, hey, let me go watch some variety TV, you know, because the funny Japanese game shows. Um, and then once I did that, I got into Nogi Ego, and then after that, I got into Nogi Bingo and AK Bingo, and then it just started tumbling into this big whole thing. And my Kami Oshi is Akimoto Saika. Hey, hey, nice. Um, hey, nice. I like and her. for AKB, I guess it's Watanabe Mayu. Oh, okay. And, and for Nogi Zaka, it's Shiraishi Mai. Oh, Mai, yes. Mai, hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think most people like Shirashi Mai. It's just he has this this perfect uh, capable perfect of idol everything. in there. Yeah. 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 Jeez, so, my goodness. The, <laughs> the one guy, who... the guy, the guy that ends up marrying that girl is going to be one jealous dude that's going to die by our attack way too early. <laughs> How could he be with somebody that perfect looking? I'm yep. just, and plus he's cool. Like yeah, he has yeah, a good personality. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see why you'd like her, but why do you like Mayu? What's what's the appeal? I'm curious. Um, yeah. With Mayu, I don't know. I feel like it's a transition from like when she first started to like how she is now. She's a little more goofy now. She's not as robots as they used to call right. her. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. It's more. It's more of a goofy like playing around kind of personality. Ooh. Ooh nice. Cool. Yeah. She's <laughs> she's one of those like I I definitely didn't. I, I guess I never warmed up to, but uh, there the one concert uh, the. Was it where I'm trying to think of which concert it is? It's a Takamina, it was part of the Takamina graduation concerts where they did uh her birthday, uh, and they like you can yeah. really wheeled out like a huge yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah. She seemed so happy and so just down to earth, and her eyes got so big when that cake came out. And I'm yeah. like, and I don't know why, but at that moment, she went for me from cyborg to human, even though she, she's really? been making that transition a long time ago, but yeah, but just I don't know, I just couldn't, I, I don't know, not up until that moment. I was like really into her. Now I am. I'm totally into her. So that's cool. But yeah, Josh, awesome. I'm Akimoto Saika. Can't go mm -hmm. wrong there. Yep. 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 <laughs> yeah, she's also the reason I got into AKB uh, first yeah. time, thanks to the yeah, compilation exactly. of AK Bingo. But yeah, so so you got into the idol, um, also in the anime talk, and then you started, you know what? I wanted to send out my voice on, on YouTube. So if you don't mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. uh, Josh has his own YouTube uh, channel, uh, Josh Box. I believe. Yes, Mr. Josh Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and recently you started to do the idol uh, talk. So how how did you get um come to that? That you, you wanted to, you know, throw out your voice on idol talk? Yeah, I, I wanted to throw out my voice. I felt like I just need to contribute to the community because there's a lot of personalities on YouTube, but not so much on AKB group. There's some on, you know, the major idols That's and right. some on specific idols, but on AKB there wasn't as much, it wasn't as strong. So I felt like I needed to throw my opinion in there and needed to make some funny videos for people to watch and to enjoy. Yeah, you also yeah. torture yourself a lot. Yeah, you know, exactly. so, so, <laughs> like getting, getting yeah, yeah, yeah. pied into the or face. Pepper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the, uh, the recent video of uh, Tabasco uh, sauce. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I need to add that, my own little variety in there, just like the idols do. <laughs> so who does help you out though uh, on your yeah. videos? Because you didn't throw yourself uh, pie in the face. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was just a friend. It's a friend I have. Um, <laughs> that, that's the only video he's been in. The rest has been by myself. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so, he just he knows some of the girls from Nogizaka, so that's why I qualified him to to throw the pie in my face after. Yeah. So, so, so what was it. that conversation like? Hey, dude, what are you doing today? Yeah, uh, <laughs> can you throw some uh, I don't know, some pies in my face? Yeah, yeah. You, no. you want to throw a huge pie in my face? Not a problem. I mean, you can always get a friend to just <laughs> yeah, exactly. slam a pie into you. Yeah, awesome. But that was pretty much the conversation. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. sure, all right. I'll, be, I'll be over in five minutes, man. Right? <laughs> Dude, awesome. <laughs> all right. 
Let's well, um, welcome to the show. Um, what well, we're going to talk about? Um, well, you already did a video about the news uh, of the week, mm-hmm. as well. So we we can expand on that. Um, I think the main talk we want to talk about. Uh, too bad he isn't here because he had a lot to say about this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is about yeah, yeah. the graduation yeah. announcement of Owada Nana. Um, yeah, it came to a surprise to me. It was mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, well, well, a few. It was months ago. Now there was this this kind of scandal come into light, yeah. you know, she was uh, at, at yeah. night with uh, Nishino Miki, um, mm-hmm. w- with a Johnny, uh, I believe, and, and ever since, um, yeah, she quieted down, didn't hear from her, and then sudden graduation yeah. announcement. Well, when she made the announcement, she didn't seem like sad, or it's like, she was like relieved and, and, and happy, just yeah. saying like, you know what, I'm good, just going to graduate, and in these four years, like you said, um, it, it feels like up and downs and, and, and not going well. Um, she was a prominent 15 gem member to to mm-hmm. have their exactly, uh, yeah. uh, her own future, but but it it it's I think 2016 was just a downhill from there, and and she never got back on on that horse, you know, of, of succeeding. Maybe she's like, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm gonna continue. But what do you guys think? So well, let's go with Josh first. Yes. Yeah, that came to a surprise to me as well. Uh, she she was like pretty much the ace of, of the 15 generation. And she was she was fairly popular, and to come out with all this stuff, like I said in my video, that she said it was because of emotional turmoil or something like that. And I mean, that proves that even though you're one of the more popular ones, you're not subject to those things as well as the lower members not feeling appreciated. Maybe she didn't feel appreciated. There's so many factors that go into deciding to graduate so that I feel like she must have had a strong reason to. Yeah. I can I can I jump in? Of course, yeah, yeah, do it. No, no, okay, no, because I don't because Josh, I have to get Josh's rhythm now because he's <laughs> like yeah, yo, it's easy to get, and DX is just awesome. He knows when to come in, so do you. But Josh is a he's he's kind of a wild card here. I don't know. So <laughs> uh, no, I I actually um I actually was surprised it took her this long to say she's gonna graduate. To be honest, um because of the whole the whole thing that happened with the Johnnies. I mean, even to this day, I like I'm in agreement. Like I I didn't think it was a big deal personally. Uh, and I and I feel it got blown way the heck out of proportion for like a minute, but then it disappeared. However, there did seem to be signs that it was bigger than we any of us thought because the junkin happened right after that. And wouldn't you know it, her and Mickey were out what like first round. And and I'm not saying that the junkins fixed or anything, but it did seem a little suspicious, especially when Mickey came out. She wasn't even dressed. She was just dressed in like a normal schoolgirl outfit. And then we look at what she wore last year, like she was uh, that bubble there. The, the balloon, bubble, yeah. Yeah, yeah, her magic yeah, trick. Yeah, the balloon. It was one of the best, best costumes. And not only that, she was in the Junkin. Um, so, like she made it all the way to the end last year. Mm-hmm. A lot of Nana being 15 Gen. You know, the, the the supposed ace. I never saw it personally. I I I understand why some people would think that, but I just I didn't I didn't really feel it. And and I honestly like I didn't pay that much attention to her like ever. But. It hurt. I don't know why, but like I started to get really hurt about it when she announced it. Like another one. Like that's that was my thinking. Like, are you serious? Especially her. Like, I mean, yes, mm-hmm. I, I never necessarily pay attention to her, but she was one of those girls that she was always there. She was in like all the variety stuff, and she was constantly present. And it just it really sucked. But then I then like I got into like a little bit of a war online on facebook recently about this because because one fan was like oh we shouldn't spread rumors and we shouldn't contribute to the rumors of of this stuff i'm like it's not rumors to discuss it man i'm just discussing the fact that i think personally the scandal had a lot to do with it and she's not gonna come out and say that she's not gonna be on stage Mm -hmm. oh yeah by the way i hung out this johnny and yeah i'm out of here no no look it's like like, it's not like you're in court or something it's like you're thinking well you just want want like answers why is the reason what's wrong exactly because you mm-hmm. want to leave AKB, that's what graduation is. And and, and on, that, on that side, she, when she started, she was like, you know, getting the, her uh, great role in, in, in Majiska Gakuen in 4 and 5 with the um, mm-hmm. zombie, which she was, right? Or, yeah, she was zombie, I believe, in... Uh, zombie and Con- so. yeah, yeah. She was part of the Kojima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, she, was, yeah. She, was, she was zombie. In the, um, and she got, started getting singles and, you know, the variety stuff. Um, personally, for me, I, I think um, well, the, the the supposed scandal maybe had to do with it, and also maybe 
I don't know, backstage, you know, members, staff, mm -hmm. looking at her in a different mm -hmm. way. And I know, like, uh, in personality-wise, Nishino Miki can handle herself like that. She's like, all right, I'll just, just continue and to go dance crazy. But with her, maybe she's, like, more reserved because she's also the, the latest gen. Well, 16 gen is coming up soon. Um, but compared to others, it's like she felt like maybe maybe I, I screwed up on this side. And, and, and for me, it's always... I know who Awadanana is, but she feels like she came... She has the same personality type as, I would say... Um, Kawamoto uh, Saya, like yes. Saya, yes. and Saya is is recently, you know, in the Senbatsu song, um, doing stuff on that, um, and, mm -hmm. and you know, also in the, in Kabuska uh, Gakuen. So maybe she feels like she's replaced, or or mm. well, management's like, oh, we have her now, so you yeah, can take a step back. back. Yeah. And maybe it's like, no, I just want don't want to take a step back. I was here, I don't want to be here. Although she she did well in the So Thank You this year, but hmm. Well, I, I think I think just to add what you said really quickly, the the Kabuska Gakuen. I think the girls that are in that, those are the chosen ones right now. They really are, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that because I got picked for that. It just seems like that's the cream of the crop right now. And and anyone that you see on Kabuska, like all the younger girls that are there, like they're the ones that I think will be leading the charge with AKB. And if you notice, I don't think not, she wasn't there. And she could have been, but Kojimaku was. Well, well, the thing is, I'm just gonna check this right now. Uh, it, you have to be uh, over 18 to be on Kabuska Gakuen. So... Oh, that's right. I, she is she even old enough? Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna check that. Oh uh, right yeah, now. check because I didn't. I didn't even think of that. She is 17 years old. Yeah, she would okay, have been there. Okay, never mind. So she's never not mind. allowed on. Oh, that that sucks actually. If she was 18, I think she would have still stayed. Um, on AKB, mm. she wouldn't have graduated. That, that's really my opinion right now. It it, it could be so much better for her if she re retained her role as zombie in 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 that mm. show. But yeah, you have to be 18 to be on that show. Uh, okay, was. never mind. Okay, mm. moot point. DX, what do you think? Yo. Yeah. What happened? Yeah, oh. don't worry. <laughs> All right. A <laughs> uh, uh, couple of mic problems. Just no problem. But anyway, it felt a bit sudden for me, but I do know she was pushed heavily in the beginning. I mean, even Oshima Yuko approved of her back then. And mm. somehow it started declining. I still don't know the factors about it, but after the push, it was like, I don't know, maybe she got still or something or she didn't improve further. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just guessing here, but it's so strange to see her graduate now. I felt like she still has so much more years in her, and to leave it like that, it kind of stings for me, pretty much. And I don't know how to explain it, but it feels so sudden. So well, there, yeah. there was also a rumor about backstage um, stuff. Um, if if you look at the 15 gen right now, the names that come up are yeah. uh, Komiyama Haruka, yep. well, Mukai Chimiyon, of course, of course. Uh, Taniguchi Megu, and um, if I'm saying it right, I always get the name Seichan. Ah, uh, Sena. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sena, yeah. Yeah, so so those two, those are like the 15 gen who are uh, on the shows right now on the songs, yeah. and and mm -hmm. most yeah. of them are together, and and well, uh, Komiyama and Mion are always together, and then the Sena is also doing stuff, but you never see like on, on pictures on online no. or stuff like that. Yeah, 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 She's yeah, always yeah. like the one left out. You have other mm -hmm. 15 gens as well, but but on the ones that were known on shows and TV shows, she's always yeah. now the single one. And, and maybe that's also mm. came into factor that her her same gen is, is just not there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I she mean... Wasn't, yeah, she wasn't as close at, as with the others, you would say. Yeah, well, she was, are, yeah. yeah also, also not as prominent. I mean, the, the names you just listed are like who AKB is known for today. I mean, Megu, you know, if you look at the variety, look, look at AK Bingo, like Me Megu-chan, she sticks out like crazy. Mion, uh, Oshima, you want to talk about Oshima Yuko approving. I mean, look what happened with her. I mean, she's like, yeah, this girl's going to lead AKB. Yeah. And then, you know, um, you, you have, and then Sana, like, I mean, she, she's getting there, I think, in terms of people knowing her. But, like, even the, the one of the most recent AK Bingos, like, you saw what she tried to do with, like, what what she do? Like, the Trump and the Trump piano. Trump yeah, 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 yeah. and, and it, it was very, it was, it was a good impression. It, like, really kind yeah. of blew me away that a girl could do that. I can't even play two instruments at once. <laughs> So and, and I mean, there's, that's that's a lot of powerhouse names in AKB, and then there's Wadanana. What did she do? You see what I mean? Um, like, it's, yeah, yeah. It's just she's not 
she she's not as prominent as these girls, yeah. I think. Even though maybe at one point she was supposed to be at the beginning, but then all these these girls just kind of blossomed yeah. around mm-hmm. her. And Komi Haro, yeah. I mean, you know, we don't yeah. need to go so, there. It's in her own <laughs> documentary. My goodness. Yeah. Twice, I think. All right, now twice. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't see a big one about yeah. Wada. I mean, it, I, I, last I checked, Wada didn't have no documentaries made about her. Just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Yeah, still, it's sad, though. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. There was a um, showroom. The, during the announcement of, of uh, what another, the, uh, oh, yeah. Yamada Nanami of Team yeah. 8 was doing a oh, showroom, man. and uh, people in chat were just saying, like, oh, she's graduating, and, and then you could see her reaction, live reaction of, of that. And and she was heartbroken. She was like, yeah. all right, no, not here, not on showroom. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, like, no, no, keep, no, no. keep it together, <laughs> keep it together. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, those two she were very to close. Break down. Yeah, she wanted to break down right there. Oh, I have to see that. I don't know who made it, but uh, there, there's a uh, GIF compilation online of all the pictures uh, Owada Nana and uh, Yamada Nanami took together, and it's yeah, it, it gets get teary eyed. It's like, oh, they were they were so close together, but yeah, it's always mm-hmm. suck when someone leaving. I Who I is? do want to, uh, even though he's not here, uh, Yeho sent me a message okay. of what he okay. wanted to say about uh, Owada Nana's graduate announcement. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> He really felt that uh, Nanya was about to graduate and kind of not, uh, mm-hmm. because of the scandal. He thinks okay. that uh, 15 Gen are avoiding Nanya, um, leaving her to face her problems herself. Unlike Miki, who is getting along with Nachan and Mako, because there is two of them left. Uh, three. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, basically he's saying the same stuff uh, we're saying. He feels yeah. like um, it's still a surprise, but it, it didn't feel like a surprise. Right. He was okay, heartbroken right, though, right. because uh, yeah, for it's... those who know, it's, it's one of his Oshi, of course, next to Kojima Mako. Every time you see on the show, he has like this giant poster in the background of one mm-hmm. another. Yep. So th- it sucks, man. It, yeah. uh, it, when you're wearing your favorite <laughs> leash, that's always like you feel like part of you goes with it. Like, oh yeah, man. I had to go, yeah, had to go do it that on twice. So yeah, <laughs> I can yeah, yeah, imagine it... that. If, if Tani left SK, I, I just I don't even know if I would follow SK anymore, <laughs> except for except for Jarena, just because I mean you know I love Jarena, mm. but yeah. it's just S like Tani Tani is SK to me, so it's just mm. I don't know it would be really difficult. So I I totally get that. I really feel bad for you. you know, I almost wanted to send like a condolence letter, like oh, I'm so sorry, man, because it's <laughs> yeah. like. I, I like I said I was actually hurt more than I thought I would be because I think I'm just I'm so so tired of seeing members leave like one after yeah. another in this past year so many so worst. many <laughs> in the absolute worst year ever so yeah. it's just I don't know I'm hoping we don't get another announcement anytime soon <laughs> the, we still yeah, have hopefully. a few days in left uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> co- coming up soon in in a few days is the, of course the anniversary uh, stage, uh, eight yeah. December, where 8 December. everybody will be performing, including the debut of then the next generation, sixty generation. Um, awesome. We haven't awesome. got any announcements who actually made it through the final auditions, right? So yeah, this is going to be the first reveal. Yeah. It's probably the first reveal. I've searched up and down on the internet, but I can't seem to find a thing actually, and that's kind of strange for AKB. Yeah. You normally you have a clue who is going to be in the 16th generation or in either in each generation but for the mm-hmm. newest generation i can't find a thing i can't really find a thing hey, hey derek do so, you remember uh which one we said was our favorite of the 16th gen uh i i do but i well no okay i can visualize her because she's well she's the prettiest one but she also just really stuck out in her showroom to me like she just, number 54 i remember 54. that oh, yeah, 54, 54, yeah. yeah i don't know the name oh they didn't reveal the name of course no there were no mm-hmm. there were no names so yeah, but uh, I can still remember how she looks, so hopefully she's in there, because I think she's the best one of the 16th gen. Me too. Easily, <laughs> easily going to be the ace. If, if if she isn't, I would be really deeply surprised Like if that girl doesn't make it far. She's got the look, she had the personality. I think, it, it, I don't know, maybe she sucks at dancing. I, we'll find out, but <laughs> it's like... I, I just have a good feeling about her. I think I think our our we picked the winner there. Mm. But there's a lot of other ones there that seemed really good too. So I I don't know. I I checked out I'd say about ten or twelve of them or whatever, and it, and it was just just randomly and just I I was impressed with mostly what I saw. But this number fifty four, I think yeah, she's yeah. she's gonna do it. <laughs> I know it. I can't wait. Must can't make wait. it. We will wait. We will see you in five days. Yes. I would say so. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's wait. really strange it's though to, to not like release anything. Yeah, he's but he's not gonna release stuff, and SKE released no. stuff, and but like AKB didn't. That's kind of exactly. weird. 
They're mm. they're doing some new stuff with, with music videos, full versions, putting them online. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mostly showroom, of course, and and then and just testing stuff. Hmm. Yeah. But hopefully the test stuff international. Yeah, That's maybe, <laughs> but well, hopefully the, the uh, 16 gem will fill the void of some people missing. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. want to see more graduation announcement on these final days. Mm -hmm. I just want to have a a great anniversary show on the on the stage. I want to have a great Koku uh, Takai from AKB48 version, and then even on a Koku the Gusin. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Agreed. Um, Josh, did you see any of the 16 gens or yet? Or have you have you paid no, any I, attention to them? I, I, I haven't oh. delved into it because I, I don't want to be disappointed by someone I like. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got, that's actually I probably can, yeah, smart. Can, yeah. 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 Just, just yeah. ease it in. All right. All right. Just, just yeah, yeah. no one going to want to get this. Josh ends up liking like number 52 and then like she doesn't make it. Then you're in Japan yeah. one day and you see her at like Moss Burgers, the cashier. You're like, wait a minute. And then you just, I don't even want to eat the food anymore because you're so depressed. You're like, what uh, could have been it? You re yeah, recreate the handshake of, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, event. <laughs> yeah, there's so many girls in the, in the audition. I checked out the Nogizako one because there was way less than that. Um most of the ones I liked got there, so I, I was happy. I was like, I don't want to risk it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, speaking of Koaku, I want to talk about this. Um, oh, so the announcement that um, the ones who made it on Koaku this year, uh, well, AKB is there in there again, and Nogizaka is in there, and, and a surprise, but I like it. I'm very happy. It's uh, Kei Kazaka 46. They made yes. it, but that's it. No NMB, no SKE, no HKT, no NGT. How do you feel about that? I don't know, man. Maybe it's so strange because a couple of years ago, every 48 group was in Koku, uh, Koku SK, and now they only have AKB. It's like, huh? Where did it go wrong? But then again, I don't think the other groups were as active, I would say, as AKB this year. So maybe it's just, it shouldn't come as a surprise, but I don't know. Because, I mean, I don't think HKT did anything in special in particular along with SKE and NMB. So maybe it's just had to happen this year, so I don't know. I'll but it's... <laughs> Go ahead, Josh. Or yeah. Go for it. No, um, go for it. Well, what I think, I feel like. Well, it's the committee that decides who goes on Kohaku, yeah. right? Yeah, so I don't know if they thought, okay, let's have all these other 48 groups sing a song, or could we have other artists? I'm thinking of it as like a business standpoint, so like, would we rather let more people come in, more new artists that are coming oh, out, true. or have all these 48 groups that are there, or just mash them all into one? as like the AKB48 group, sort of. Yeah, might be. And just have like the most popular that people actually go to see. Mm. Could be, but then again, uh, this also possible apparently to decline an invitation because mm -hmm. everyone expected Baby Battle to be there. But oh, yeah, yeah. Amuse, Amuse actually re uh, rejected the invitation because mm -hmm. they probably they couldn't bring their own musicians uh, along with them because they always, Baby Battle is always, uh, especially at the latest concerts, they really do well to do with live, the singing and the music. But apparently they were told they couldn't bring their own musicians, and that's why they declined, or Amuse declined, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. At least that's what I got from the Baby Metal Reddit, and from a friend who is really into Baby Metal. So it's kind of disappointing, but then again, oh, I can understand wanting to. So. Don't, don't worry, we got uh, Picataro in, in, in replace for that. With PPAP. <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! <laughs> the, the, when when I saw that announcement, I was like, oh my god, oh, really? Yeah. I know it, it's amazing how many views he got, and it's worldwide now. But <laughs> you're putting what? a a a a, a, a what is called this an ORI, I think. Uh, Genokai, uh, Genojin. Yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. a one-shot gag on yeah. Kohaku mm -hmm. for a whole segment. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well. It's what brings the views, right? That's the well, thing. That's true. Yeah. That might be. And even on on best artists, um, Sting was playing. Um, he he was playing like one of his songs, and then like right when he finished, it transitioned over to him, and then j just singing the song. And then like you see them in the background, like like putting their instruments away, and I'm like, oh, what does he think about like all this? Like, <laughs> just having like a viral video, pretty much, just yeah, pretty be much, like his yeah. second act. Hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah. I. 
<laughs> I, you know what? Like, like honestly, here's the thing. First of all, like, it's weird that you say that about baby metal because um, I want to say like X Japan. Well, I know X Japan's like they're they're playing it and uh, like they don't use. I mean, they're yeah. they're live, yeah, but exactly. but I would I would say if they really had a problem with that, they could just do what they've done in the past by having like a live stream from yeah. a concert or something. Yeah. But but it's such an honor to play Kohaku that maybe you know for whatever reason the scheduling just didn't work out for all that for yeah. baby metal but in regards to our lovely idol acts i i really feel it, it's it's absolutely devastating for the sister groups because you know we've seen in documentaries the reactions that they've had when they're not yeah. called it, it's it's absolutely it's it's almost like watching a horror movie because it's mm. so depressing and just yeah. terrible my and, and maybe just because my oshi's in sk but sk put out chicken line yeah which was awesome i love that song it's so high energy exactly. and it would be perfect for kohaku um if they want to go a little more depressing the death cash song uh, was yeah can i can i why not i mean death cash was it was tied into a, a drama so yeah. you could well horror i guess so you could you have that all those people that watch which you know there were some people obviously that watched it in japan because it stayed on its entire run I, I feel like at, at the very least you could have had SKE on. HKT, the the, the Woda song, you know, with them doing the calls, and the, I forget the name of the song, but I listen oh, to yeah. it. Psycho Kyo. Yeah, yeah. I love that song. Yeah, it I love so it. It's so much fun to do in yeah. Kohaku you know, to get everybody doing, you know, the Tiger, Fire, Cyber yeah. Chan, and, the, and, you know, the mixes, and, 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 and again, perfect for Kohaku. NMP would be the only one I would say, like, it's m nothing against them because I, I, anytime you get Cyan and her crew on, on anything, I'm watching because they can dance yeah. perfectly. But I would say they would be the only one I would say has the argument to maybe not be on. Nothing against them. Nothing against their yeah. singles they released. But to have them not on it, it kind of blows me away when you look at all the people that did get picked. It's a, First of all, it's a lot of the same people. Yeah. Um, and then there are some new people, but like you said, like like with the uh, Pico guy, you're gonna take this dude over a, a group like let's say like SK who have worked their butts off this year, who who people do want to see, yeah. and why? Because you want to like reduce the amount of idol groups. I mean, K K deserved to be on there. Okay, they mm -hmm, had mm -hmm. a stellar exactly. year. I I'm so proud of them for getting on. I don't care if people say they got in there too fast. You know, whatever they you deserve it. I mean, and if if you're gonna have Pico Terra, if you're gonna have this guy on it. Kea definitely deserves to be on it. Yeah. But for me, I mean, personally, I'm happy because in a one way because, you know, Utada Hikaru is on it. And True. in my opinion, she put out the best album of the year. So so I, I'm just blown away. She's on Perfumes on it, and they're my favorite music group of all time. So I'm good there. But I was so devastated when I saw SKA wasn't on it because I know Jarena takes that stuff personally. Jarena yeah. was on Twitter. So yeah. like, just basically saying, ah, oh, Right? <laughs> like, no. She, 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 she grumbles. And, mm. and Sine, Sine is probably at this point, she's like, whatever. She's like, this, <laughs> we're so used to getting our butts whipped in this, and we doesn't matter. So she's probably at that point in her head where she's just probably rolling her eyes because also, too, she has her own thing anyways. Mm -hmm. But it's like, why are they doing this? You know? Like, why? Yeah. Like, let them be on there. Like, it's – you're going to have all these groups. I mean, and it's a good mix – why not just have it? Or at least, mm. you know, I mean, some of the solo girls that have gone out, like Wasserman, why not put Wasserman on this? You know, I mean, she's had a great year, and, and it's all, it's half of it's Anka anyways, you know? Yeah. So, it, it, it was somewhat disappointing, but I'm I'm good, but I think for any AKB fan, they should be up in arms, they really should. Sorry, that's my own spiel, I'm done. It's it's, it's, it's <laughs> frustrating to, to see the, the other groups not getting there. And like I said, like, um, the committee is saying, yeah, well, it feels all the same, right? AKB is AKB. Well, Jurina and Sine oh. will will highly disagree with that. Mm -hmm. That's that's why yeah. they canceled their Kenyan positions. They want to seize, like, no, no, this is our own group. We have our own thing. Mm -hmm. And they want to strive in it. And getting on Kork is, like, like, a huge achievement every year. Like, you've done well this year. So that's why the frustration is high. If you don't make it on Kork, you feel like you failed the entire year. And, and it may not mm -hmm. feel like that because yeah, sales were good and, and things were up. No, no, no. If you don't make it on Kohaku as a musical artist, you feel like I could have done better. And and mm -hmm. that frustration sets yeah. in. And and we'll still see Sine and Jurina, of course, because they will be on the AKB group for. Uh, I think they're going to do high tension. Paruru locked out with her very last day of uh, active duties being on Kohaku. <laughs> yeah. Like she planned it all along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> 
But yeah, I get the frustration. But what, like you said, Derek, very happy 4K Kazaka 46. Yeah. Um, oh, very happy. People were like, oh, they won't get on Kohaku because of uh, the Halloween thing, the stupid 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 nah. stupid thing <laughs> yeah um but 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 their sales like futari says on their their first day sales were three hundred and fifty three thousand six hundred and forty <laughs> at first place G guess mm -hmm. what second place yeah. was so mm. it was e-girls with ten thousand sales yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, come wow. on. Eagles yeah, are amazing. <laughs> e Eagles oh, are, are very yeah. great and very good to listen Nothing to. Nothing against them. No, yeah. but but you see the, the the gap in there, and and, and their first mm -hmm. single, "Sign Majority," great song, still uh, my favorite song of K Kazaka like Forty Six, and that got a hundred thousand sales, and then they're going up and up. Uh, they they they've already been into variety shows, of course, and, and they still need to like like uh, Mr. Josh Box said, breaking out their shell, uh, showing on their side. But their musical performances were on top, on point, and and they really, really deserve the spot. So I'm I'm very happy for them to be on uh, Call of Duty. I'm I'm gonna certainly enjoy that. And we've already seen a bit of a preview because they've been doing collaborations with Picatero, uh, doing PPAP on certain shows. I don't know what they're doing. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, maybe it's good for them. So you know, yeah, get true. get the rub off of that. The guy, the guy is funny though, but I'm, I'm, I'm like now uh, we get, you know, Japan is always it. with uh, yeah. one shot gags, and and I don't know Western audiences like a joke certain amount of times, but then it gets too stale, and then it yeah. just yeah. gets tired you of do, it. Yeah, you do, yeah, mm. you need to evolve pretty much. Oh yeah, you're you're in and out in Japan so quickly when it comes to that, and it you what you might be the hottest thing in the world one month, and you're gone the next, and that's even another reason to have all these groups. Uh, in the idol world that we love, like on Kohaku, because they consistently year after year have established a huge fan base, and there's no reason not have them. Although yeah. I will say, I'm I I don't I'm hoping Kea will be on it next year. That's I know I'm already thinking ahead, but it's just interesting because they had such a stellar year this year. But yeah, they will up, they yeah. can they keep it up? And yeah. I'm hoping that, that they will they will because like the last single they put out is just amazing. It's just too <laughs> amazing. It's, yeah. Here, it, it, the more I listen to it, the more I just it gets me very emotional. Yeah. And 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 out of all the singles released this past this past year, I would say that might be my top one. And I don't and I didn't I wasn't even in K into Kea Kizaka uh, Same, until yeah. recently. And when when I heard about them wearing Nazi uniforms, I was like, yeah, I like this yeah. group. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, I'm saying that because because I I, I want to know what all the fuss was. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and then I'm like, what? These guys aren't wearing Nazi uniforms. Who I like said that. that? And then, and then all of a sudden, um, it was like you know, I I had to pay a little bit more attention to them. You, you know, what well, I mean, I've been listening to them since Silent Majority, but I'm saying like, personality-wise, I want to know more about them. And um, now I'm just I'm really starting to fall for them big time because I think they're great. You know, yeah. so and this, this last single, amazing. But what will Kohaku tell hmm. us? I want. I recently actually have a uh, well, finally an Oshi on. Uh... K Kizaka 46. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, and, it, and it was on um, uh, Ketakite Kakanai uh, on the uh, latest episode where they were uh, uh -huh. finishing up their sports day event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, man, there was just a scene. So, so you had the all uh, star business team and the, um, you know, the, um, what do you call it? Pacifist team. Like, like yeah. no, yeah. we're just here in there for fun. Yeah. Um, but you know, in infrared shows, like every event leads up to the final event that the other events didn't even matter, and mm. uh, man, that was heartbroken. So, so my favorite member of K Kazak Forty Six is uh, Moria Akane, and and oh, really? she's like very passionate and very like mm. very strong. Feel like a captain type if there's a captain okay. on uh, K Kazak uh -huh. Forty Six, uh -huh. and mm. they had like the um, baton um, race, you know, like a relay race. I think a relay race, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, relay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, mm. all of a sudden, at the 50 meter dash, red team crushed them, the all-star yeah, business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, on the baton or the relay race, um, yeah, blue team was winning, and, and mm -hmm. by a lot. And at the last moment, uh, Moria had to run, and she was like catching up, and she was almost there. Mm -hmm. And she came this close of, of just finishing. And then oh, she wow. noticed she lost, and she just, you know, she just felt crushed in the stride. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. Okay, you got me. Like, like <laughs> arrow shot. Wow. And, like my heart's yeah. like. She really wanted to be on the the uh, the, the award was going to shoot on a location, the winning yeah. team, and mm -hmm. she really wanted to go, and she felt frustrated. And this like, 
breaking out of her shell. It's like, that's who I want to see. That's the person right? I want. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Finally. Like, I, I love uh, Hirate Yurina. She's like, of course, the center, you know, the, 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 yeah, yeah. the focus yeah. group of Cake is like 46. And I love her way. She danced, stuff like that. But yeah, on, on that side, that's now my my Oshi of Cake is like 46. I really, really, really enjoy her. And she was on All Night Nippon this week with the special episode of Cake is like 46. Oh, yeah. Also, oh, cool. also fun to watch yeah. with the certain members. And, and um, if you want to see Keiko Sakura like out of their shell, um, All Night Nippon was still nervous for them because this was their first time and yeah. they hadn't any experience. So they were guided very much and they were right. going in and out. And, and the funny funny thing is at, at the uh, like the last hour, the staff decided, all right, now it's your turn to be the MC, the most quiet girl in the room. And <laughs> oh, yeah. there was so much dead air. There was She was like oh. this tiny voice and, and the other members like, Come on, talk, talk, talk. It's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, we have an email <laughs> here, and it's like, <laughs> uh, but but the rest of the show before uh, all the Nippon starts, they always have a half an hour um, pre-show where they yeah, have some sure. fun stuff. But there are no like set rules. They have like, okay, we need to talk about this and this. Is it. But they're they're themselves, and it was so fun to watch. So if you really want to see how Kikizaki is, you know, without pressure of TV or anything like that, it's a showroom uh, before all the Nippon. So go watch that. Yeah, got an Oshi. I'm, 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 uh, I'm really interested um, in, both in DX and Josh's uh, moments when they knew their Oshi was their Oshi because, like, like you said, Robin, it's like lightning, but like, like arrows is hitting you. Can you tell? Can you either both of you tell tell me or tell us about like that moment you knew about your Oshis? Because oh, I always, okay. I think it's fascinating. Um, do you want the? Uh, yeah, you go Oshi? ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Uh, do you want to know about Takamina or my current Oshi? Oshi, uh, current Oshi Komi. Because they both, both are different. Do oh. both. Do both. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the reason why I got into Takamina myself was I really liked the light, the DJ, the captain type person, and and you know the one that leads the group. And so, uh, then it, uh, I wasn't too sure about Takamina back then, but then I saw her goofy side on AK Bingo, and then I was hooked pretty much. And <laughs> since then, uh, right till the end, Takamina was my Oshi. And for my current Oshi, Komi, I always had a soft spot for the underdog. And Komi mm -hmm. back then was the underdog. He had Komi and he had Mion. Mion was pushed heavily, but uh, Komi always stayed behind. But after the documentary, uh, Takamina basically guided her into getting ranked and such. And since yeah. then, it kind of felt natural, but I transitioned from Takamina to Komi. And since then, I'm a Komi Oshi. Yeah, and that's, how, and that's how I got my current Oshi, pretty that's much. Awesome. Because, yeah, you could say you could you, you mm. really can say Takamina basically said to me, "I support this girl now, and I suggest I suggest you do the same." And mm. since then, I'm a Komi Oshi. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Josh. Well, well, with me. Yeah. I'll go Shirashi Maya and Akimoto Saika. Um, yeah. <laughs> so with Shirashi Maya, I I couldn't decide on Anogi Oshi for like the longest time. I was like, it's either Ikuta Erika, it's either Nishino Nanase, it's Shirashimai. I couldn't decide. Um, so I, I was like, I'll just keep on watching and I'll decide like when it comes to me. And then I was watching and then like in the back of my head, I was like, oh, there's Shiraishi, like always always keeping an eye on her. Um, and then eventually it just turned into like, I started to notice like that gap that they have where like, she looks really beautiful, but then like she has her goofy, like mm -hmm. she likes to play around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is mm -hmm. something I really liked about her. Um, mm -hmm. Ikuta has that too, but she's more like on the like on the like more goofy. While she's more on the structure goofy, I don't know how to explain it. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but I, I don't know, that that just drew me to her. So so like finally I was like okay I finally decided it's gonna be this. And actually it was on a video that I decided like I just said Mayoshi is blank and then that came out. So I was like okay that's it. Which video was that? Um, it was one of the news ones. It must have mm. been like three weeks ago I think. Yeah, ah, okay. I've seen a lot of compilation. That, yeah, um, to to elaborate on Shirachi Mai because yeah. it's also my uh, favorite on uh, Nogizaka Forty Six. Um, when 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 I, I'm, on, on songs on Nogizaka Forty Six, I'm I'm very very uh, limited on the information because I, for some reason I don't get into the songs of them. Mm. But um, on the variety oh, yeah. shows, when they were getting their own uh, bingo version, like Nogi Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> that first episode, she already like got my attention, like Dokiri episode. The moment she sat down and it's like, all right, go for the kiss. And then she got the cream pie in her face. And her reaction was yeah. like, thank you. 
And it's like, <laughs> what? And she was happy. Yeah, it was a dream of mine. She's like, yes, thank you. It's like, all right, you you got me. You're you're my favorite. But but yeah, mm. Shirachi Mai has this powerful uh, presence. Like stuff like like yeah. very uh, small compilation. Uh, the new video came. Well, it's not new, but uh, someone put it on online. Like the, the the moments she was on a uh, variety show and she had to do like hula hoop. And uh, if she failed, she had to yeah. sing a song of AKB48, oh, uh, yeah, Everyday Katsushi. Uh, yeah, 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 and yeah, she yeah. failed, and the song starts, and she's like, bam, throw the mic. Yeah, like, yeah. hell yeah. no. Yeah, yeah. It's like, okay, you get a second chance, do it again. Okay, she does it again, fails, it's like, okay. And then she sings the first line of, of Everyday Katsusha, and it's beautifully, and then she throws the mic again. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> tough moment, like, it's like, yeah, I like her. Yeah, yeah like, I'm not AKB. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, yeah, yeah. no I, it, it's interesting. The three that you mentioned you liked in Nogi are the three that I liked originally when I started to like kind of check out Nogi, especially Akuta because she did the, the Kenan position. And um, and plus, I just like Ikoma. her personality. Right. Ikoma, sorry. Yeah, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah. that's right. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. no, okay. It's, never mind. Okay, I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> but, Ikoma, but, no, yeah. but, but Nishino uh, was probably the one that stuck out the most to me because she was so quiet and she's so like tight-lipped at the beginning and like like I think they even made fun of her like like on one Nogi Bingo I think they're like is your mouth even moving like with some time <laughs> yeah. and, and um but 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 they're just yeah she 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 she, she just sticks out because she's just I mean just blindingly beautiful so it's yeah. and then also too like you said the gap is really funny and like like Robin said like she. If you give that girl more of a chance, like in a spotlight, she seems to just really go with it, and I think that's what makes an idol a really good idol. But anyway, so go ahead. You were gonna say about Akimoto. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, Over. Well, it, it was through AKB and go. Like I was just watching, and I noticed she had like personality that was different from like everyone else. She was more like that, not outgoing, but like she was herself. She was more of herself. It didn't feel like she was putting on that like I idol cover. Mm -hmm. She felt like if she made a mistake, she like went with it. There was no like trying to be cute about it or anything, which I think really stuck out, and which is the reason why I like her. Is there a particular scene in AK Bingo that really sticks out for you? Because for me, it's the hypnotiz the hypnotizing episode where. <laughs> you're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Such yeah. a good my, episode. They're like, they were, like <laughs> after her, it's just like, hey, hey, and she's like. <laughs> it's too good. I, I think an episode that stuck out to me, I think they did a detective episode on her, right? Where they no, went they into her room and like and like looked yeah. around. It might have been that one. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the detective episode from like, um, whose home is this and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. With it it the, might have been uh, that one. Did she have like a, a Hercules beetle on the counter of? Uh... I know that there was some like green juice in, in the in the the fridge, right? Yeah. It was yeah. from her brother, uh, and then the, the, like they had to drink it. I think that was the episode. I think so. <laughs> I don't remember, but but, but it, <laughs> okay. It was no like like specific moment. It was just like a gradual like. All right, yeah, I, I like this girl kind of thing. There was no moment that like she just jumped down and was like, "Yep, that's the one." Yeah, that's also in the compilation video that she's um, like acting like a monkey and uh, she has the paw print, oh, yeah. <laughs> right. and then she speaks English as well. Like, like everybody's impressed. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, the, the, there was this one theater stage that they did, where I think it was one of Takamina's stages. Where they were singing the song, and then she came out like dressed as like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Chaos, Chaos, Chaos stage. stage. Chaos, Chaos stage. stage is so amazing. Yeah. I can watch yeah, that every time. That was the best yeah, one yeah. in the whole week. Yeah. It's so crazy, but I love the members on the, and the parts. Tani in her dominatrix outfit. Yeah, <laughs> no problem with that. <laughs> You're not even mentioning the part with uh, Chiori. When they yeah. did that, oh, that nice yeah. song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was, was uh, that was very oh, close oh. for comfort. Oh my. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Very uh very much coming stays up oh, here. Wait, wait, where is it? <laughs> uh, continue, just continue. Uh, I really the other thing that stuck out to me at the chaos stage was sport TM Revolution. Being oh, the only geez. guy who performed in AKB Vieta. It was oh. like oh, There it is, found it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Kind of different, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. Man, that was and, and said, amazing when you they, they said that was the, the the first guy who performed on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but wasn't wasn't the guy from Bad Boys there too? Before? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but not, not an official said... member. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they actually <laughs> made they made, made him an official <laughs> member. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, I think if you if you want to get really technical about it, I would say that all the 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 stage people that did uh, the fan compilation for Coyster of Fortune Cookie were the oh, first, yeah. but. <laughs> But I, but because I mean, technically, I don't. But, yeah. but you're right. Yeah, TM, TM was it? It was funny and interesting, interesting nonetheless. So, oh, yeah. 
but with the outfit during that song, uh, I think it was Kinoshita Momoka in bondage gear. I was like, what are you wearing? Oh my god. Yeah, they, they, they did heavy rotation, and then, then like, where is she? And she came up, sorry I'm late, it took a while. And she's like this full bondage outfit. Like, yeah. 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 How did you do the knots? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it's like I learned something in the book. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah. She's oh, perfect, though. Although, with Kinosa, if you're going to mention Chaos Stage, you have to mention what she did at the end of the Chaos Stage. That's, oh, dear. You know, the Unko. <laughs> 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 oh, <yeah. laughs> She's so weird. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I love it for her being so weird, but I'll never get into her because she's too weird. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm the opposite. I, I think I can't. I, I think she's innovative. She's somebody that I think AKB needs like big time. I think yeah. that there needs to be more girls like her, in my opinion. But that's just me. So, no, I, I feel you, Josh. Like it, it like Saika. It was like an instant appeal for me too when I watched AK Bingo, and uh, definitely really was into her. And I like the fact that she she's a halfu and like she you know uh, had so much love from everyone in AKB, mm -hmm. uh, which just really shows like like maybe like racial barriers not being there in the idol world and that was a beautiful thing to me i mean yuko shima and aikimoto both you know not full japanese and look how great and how well they ascended in akb so so i like that i my daughter's a uh, half food. she's half japanese so i when i see that i'm like you know could this be her someday because i want her to be an akb idol because then she won't date guys and <laughs> that's part of my whole perfect, that's part perfect, of my whole plan perfect. it's a secret plan <laughs> yeah she, she could be an akb till she's 30 and i'm good <laughs> <laughs> no scandals will be had. <laughs> I will beat the guy up. <laughs> it won't happen. <laughs> it works well. Well, yeah. sp speaking of stages, though, so I, I watched uh, a couple of stages this week, and um, yeah, my favorite uh, Okada Nana was on there uh, with her own st uh, Team Four stage. That was fun. Uh, team Four, um, the complete Team Four, wasn't there for a while because of like scheduling problems and and. It's still not everybody was there, but a lot of them were there, and it was a pretty fun stage. And you could see Nachan just uh, smiling and being happy. I think the um, the downside effects of the documentary are are. I, I think her judgment is now more clearly of staying with the group. That's a good thing. That that, that she she's still like con uh, contemplating of of graduating, but she's still yeah having fun. But we'll see. But but but, but lately on the uh, stages she was smiling and uh, enjoying herself. She was also on an, another stage. On uh, Abe Maria's uh, birthday stage, okay, was yeah, it was yeah. like a special of, of certain members there. A lot of Team mm -hmm. Four though. There was this one moment though. Um, I think during the first MC, um, uh, Okana was talking about Abe Maria, and uh, she's like heard something about she smells nice, and friends were like, yeah, yeah, she smells good. And, like, and then she said, I'm gonna check that out later. <laughs> later <laughs> happens, and oh, there was this song. I never heard this song before, so it was pretty fun. It's called uh, Radar. And it was on the encore side, and it's open up, and they're like all in these like this biker outfits, all, all black, and and it's a very rough song, and they push uh, like everybody around to to sing first. But at one point, um, Abe Maria is thrown on the ground by Okada Nana. Okada Nana <laughs> sits on her, and she, uh, Abe Maria is laughing, and and she's trying to like put her hands away, and Nana just puts her hands, so she's laying like this, and Nana goes in and just smells her neck. And just goes, <laughs> away. and then she lifts up. It's like, and and, and even at one moment, like Nakamura and Marcus, like looking like you're just like, like, what the hell is happening over there? <laughs> and, but they have to still be in it because they're still performing, and and it, and you know everyone is is doing great, and they're still ending the song. But then the MC shows up, and I think Izutarin is like saying to Okada, "What the hell were you doing?" It's like, <laughs> yeah, I checked, guys. She smells nice. And it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Stuff like that. That makes me so happy of this. Even uh, in this week's episode of uh, Kabuska uh, Gakuen. I'm not going to spoil it. I don't think everybody saw it because it just came out a few hours ago. But this episode is very heavily uh, Nachan related. And there are some great moments. And and what do you think about Nachan or what the community thinks about Nachan? They implied it in this episode as well. Some stuff. Uh Oh, my. interesting. Oh, no, my. I, 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 wait, did you, did you just say Nachan knocked Abe Maria over and like put her down to the ground? Because Abe is huge. He's, yeah, he's like yeah, but I, I, I don't think she struggled too much, Abe Maria. But yeah, she was like put on the ground, not just sat on her, on, on, on her, uh, crotch and, and then put her arms like this. And it's like, all right, I'm just going to smell you here. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> wow. Amazing. And... 
And the fantasies began. And the fantasies began. She she did say later at the end of the song because at the end of the song she went to another member. Her favorite was also there, uh, Murayama uh, Yuri, and she went uh, there and she smelled her well. It's like very close nearby because she she has this tomboyish look. So this was perfect song for her. And she said like, I love Radar. I never performed this song. It's like, <laughs> is there enough? Oh, yeah. yeah, I knew you would like this song. <laughs> it's like hopefully <laughs> Team Four does it. And she's like, no. no. <laughs> yeah, you, could, you could only imagine what goes on behind the scenes. Oh my goodness. Oh my yeah. god. Oh no no no. I, I you know, just whatever <laughs> happens, <laughs> I just don't want to know. We just assume. <laughs> let 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 the Tumblr uh, things happen over there. But <laughs> no no. Mm. Oh dear. Thinking about it already. Oh, where is that thing again? <laughs> God. Ah, I lost it. He needs, he needs a span. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, there we go. Uh, man, 50 minutes, 10 minutes left of the show. Um, Serious? Yeah, um, oh. um, quickly, does anyone have something to talk about they want to still mention before we end this episode? Yeah, I've got one. Uh, anyone oh. already listened to the new NMB song that got re- uh, ah. reviewed at the uh, best artist? Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I, well, I don't mind. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind the rapping though. I don't really. Oh like no no. Rap. Oh yeah, so with the rapping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. The rapping. I actually, actually, the rapping seems like really out of place in the song, but I, I actually like it because yes. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm liking this whole experimentation with rap yeah, that they're exactly. doing. But for me, the best part of that was the dance. I, yeah. I the dance that's was awesome. Ridiculous. Oh, yeah. And the, but but that's to be expected at NMB because they're like to me they're the best dancers in the whole AKB48 group. But I but yeah the rapping I I know Robin loved it. He he messaged me. <laughs> I love this rap. Why? <laughs> Why is this year with rap? Why uh, must they rap? I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you, Robin. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. It it ruins the song. It's like even the song itself. If it if it was without the rapping, it would be like okay, I can enjoy this. I love the outfits. I love the, the dance moves and that they do. Like when they all just go on on the back and they move around. That was a beautiful visual shot on that. Why the rapping? The only one who should rap right now are Miyazaki Miho when she did Perfect Human and um, Nakamura Mariko. She did it on that stage as well. She rapped like. When you're at happy birthday for Abe Maria, she's like, yo, Abe Maria, this a... and it was pretty good, actually. So it's like, that's fine. I don't like it when people who can't rap, rap, and it feels so out of place. It ruins the moment. And like, when when this, the song opened with rap, and then when they started, like, all right, I'm done. Just, nope. I don't yeah, care. See, d- no, no, note to uh, to anyone watching this. Uh, Robin is not a fan of K-pop. <laughs> like, because K-pop, it is that is basically AKB's like impression of K-pop. Because every K-pop group, I swear, they have to have like a rapper now in the group because that's like the thing the past couple years, particularly. But but with AKB, I I agree with you, Robin. Like Mi- Miho did it the best, probably better than I think I'll ever hear any AKB member rap unless we do end up getting a really talented MC that can do that in the future. You never know. They might build songs around her much to robin's delight but i would say i would say in this case it, it was kind of out of place but i personally enjoyed the fact it was so awkward because you have this like awkward rap at the beginning then it, yeah. then, it then it kicks into idol song and after the rap's out of the way it gets into like your four you know it's, it's, it's like idol song which they could have just started with that and then just not even had the they could just kept it at that <laughs> right exactly they could have just kept it at that and then you have this great dance, but your mind still can't get over the rap. You're like, what did I just see? <laughs> oh, wait. I mean, because it, it honestly felt like a traditional idol song after the rap. So it's so disjointed. Mm. But when it, regardless, I mean, it, it, I don't think it, it's not a particularly memorable song, um, which is rare for NMB. Because I think even though like their songs are good, like, I, I don't know, they this song just really, I don't I don't think we're ever going to see it again, so it's <laughs> one and done. <laughs> but that's just me. Too bad for NMB. I really want them to, to you know, regain their popularity. Actually, do do we have a minute, uh, Raman? Can we talk about your showroom experience? Two minutes. Oh, go for it. Ah, so, so, so Robin was is a big fan of Nozawa Arena and has been on the showroom. And he, I was with him on showroom the other day, and it was the all English Nozawa Arena one where she just does all English. Which, by the way, she's awesome. Uh, I completely overlooked on my radar. And wouldn't you know it, Robin is the only one basically that he she's like directly answering his questions. Like three <laughs> of them. You got you got three in one session. I was blown away because Nozawa just oh hi you're from the Netherlands hi Netherlands. 
Netherlands, and everyone else is like, "Hi, I'm from Korea." Blah blah blah. Nobody else, just Robin. I'm like, <laughs> I'm in. Oh man, I'm, so yeah. kudos to Rob talking to Nazawa. Just wanted to say that. Yeah, did, although um, the day after uh, she did another one, uh, I think uh, I should stop with with like saying from the Netherlands. I think she got it. She got the message. She's like. All right, I know you're here, and then then it's like moving. So I, 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 I don't want to push it too much. It's like maybe then it gets to um, like yeah, the guy on Kabuska uh, Gakuen, you know, the creepy stalker mode yeah. uh, stuff. <laughs> no, but it is, she's great. She she does a a uh, once a week a English full English showroom, and and it's it's amazing uh-huh. how she. Uh, I think she's always in the back. But but mm. I think this will be the experience to get on her. She wants to be on AK Bingo. She wants to do like special shows, doing like English translation or stuff like that. Uh, even on Kalka, you can vote for her. That's what we forgot to mention. Uh, AKB48, um, the members who are supposed to be go on Kalka can be voted in by okay. uh, special versus like 300 members are entering. So it's like a mini Sosenkyo for Kalka. Hopefully uh, she'll get there. But but I love the showroom there. It's, it's, she's one of my favorites. It's just amazing how she communicates with the people and how much she enjoys it, actually. Uh, but yeah, so uh, with this week's episode, um, we're going to the usual plugs. Of course, you can follow okay. us at uh, Rage Bully uh, on Twitter and at the Comina. You can just answer anything and we'll answer right back. DerekVasconi.com to check all the information one there. Yes. Uh, you know, the top 10 concert, of course, list and uh, stuff. But like his trip to Japan, uh, perfume. Always a good read to uh, to listen yeah. to that. And of course, uh, Mr. Josh Box on Twitter and yeah. uh, his YouTube channel. Just uh, Josh Box is that uh, okay? Yeah, Josh Box or Mr. Josh Box. Yeah, uh, go you, get, find it. go plug yourself uh, for the world. Um, well, I make YouTube videos on Mr. Josh Box, and I make weekly news update videos on the whole AKB group. That's 46 graduated members and the 40 group. And I also do bi-weekly videos where I challenge myself to do something related to the 48 and 46 group. Awesome. Like, I've got pied in the face and I've had to eat <laughs> some really spicy stuff. Oh, and funny show. I'll, just see. I'll yeah. just see where it goes from there. Hopefully, it doesn't get worse. It probably will, but yeah, <laughs> we'll have to see. Yeah, they're pretty fun to watch. It's like, they're not too long and, and not too short. It's like, just pretty fun to uh, watch. You also did like the, um, what you said, with the Tabasco sauce, uh, AKB48 test uh, knowledge yeah. and... Mm-hmm. Uh, Pretty fun to see. There are some tough questions in there, but it's fun to yeah. see how uh, it ends. I'm not going to spoil the end. You need to watch it on uh, Josh Box on YouTube. Um, but yeah, with that, this was this week's episode of 48 Talk. Thank you for watching this week, and we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.